Let's do that. Let's go for some rules real quick. Okay. That's right, Daniel. Welcome back, everyone. This will be on the YouTube channel. Let's go quickly over consumables. Count five so All right. So for your enhanced shaman, this is for Nax rating, but it's the same. It's basically the same for AQ rating. You want to come in with some your mongoose. Your mongoose is probably the best consumable you can ever have. If you look at the, if you look at the, let me get out of this real quick. If you look at the actual tooltip. You'll see that agility is um, increases by 25, which is an agility in uh, plus five. And also you get 2% chance to crit for one hour. It's literally OP. So you definitely want to have the majority of your mongooses ready to go. There's a reason why it's so expensive now on Classic Era. You definitely want to have your mongoose pots. Um, you know, you can come and raid with five if it's a small raid. If it's one of the longer raids, come with 10. You see here I have like 13 on me. Um, they, they are expensive, but you can't be cheap raiding effectively on an enhanced shaman. So definitely want your mongoose pots, your protection pots. You definitely want shadow protection, nature protection, for fire protection for like um, Grand Widow Fer Feralina. If you're in Blackwing Lair, you may want to take 10 of these fire protection pots um, for the trash in AQ40 leading up to twins. You know, using a fire pot there. And also your fire resist totem is very key to mitigating some of that fire damage that goes out. You definitely want that. I love the elixir of fortitudes. It increases your maximum health by 120, so more stamina. You definitely want that. I also come with the mighty troll bloods potion. There is a greater version of this, which is 20 health per five, but it's it's way overpriced. So you, you're not getting your bang for your buck when eight less health per five seconds and you can get the mighty troll bloods for like a gold and you can see here i have the add-on that has uh the tool tip there um you know for the 12 per five every five seconds it is really nice um also you know shamans come in with mana problems even if you're specking to the right talents so you definitely want to go with your flask of distilled wisdom will be the flask you go for do not go for your Flask of Supreme Power. We don't use spell power in a, as far as Enhanced Shaman goes. So you want something um, to be able to help your mana. And if you see the tooltip here, it's increases your maximum mana by 2,000 for two hours. It's super OP. It gives you much more uptime in boss fights. So you definitely want your Flask of Distilled Wisdom. These go for about 400 gold now in Classic Era. It was much cheaper in 2019, but here we are. So you definitely want that. Mana potions. You see here, I come with 30. If you're doing a, a large raid like Nax, if you're doing AQ40, come in with 25 to 30 mana potions. Some of the priests, you know, I heard today they use like 50 mana potions. Yeah, so you definitely want to come in with mana potions. Get them cheap. As you see here, they're only 57 silver. So on my bank out, what I would do is whenever I make some money off selling some greens or something like that, I would just spend... 20 to 25 gold and get like 60 of these bad boys or something like that and just have them on my bank out and just send 30 at a time whenever i'm ready to raid so every raid day i would just send 30 over um because you never know you never want to log in one day and the mana potions go up to like two gold per because then you're losing money get them while they're cheap um you use them every raid this is basically your blue rage so if you're a warrior you know you're using your um your mighty rage potions or your regular rage potions for an enhanced shaman, you're using ma major mana potion on cooldown for the majority of your fights. If you're not using like a, if it's not like a low thab where you're using like protection potions, you want to be using your major mana potions. Come with 30. Don't be cheap. If you want to be cheap, play another class because you're not going to be effective raiding as an enhanced shaman if you're if you're a cheap player. Um, these are optional. The winterfall winterfall fire water. They're optional. What I do is I farm these. Um, early in the morning on my warrior as you know the warriors have a uh, less uptime or less downtimes sorry um so i try to snatch those up in some in whatever um wonderful ecos i can get that that convert into juju power another thing you can get is juju power also juju might it just come in with a stack 20 of those i come in with 10 of these i rarely use these um maybe like a, a like a parse fight that i'm trying to do i would use something like this you also want to have your Blasted Lands buffs, I have all four of those. Use those. And then your Zanzas is probably the last one you want to use is 
you come in with your Zanzas are good to go. Um, from Dire Mall, you have your Gordok Green Grogs. I, it's, it's 10 stamina for 15 minutes, pretty nice. And I have 20 of those. So whenever I get my, my DM, DM buffs, I take these. Yeah, um, from the Argent Dawn right over here, you have your Blessed Sunfruit. You can also get the Dumplings, which is 20 strength for 10 minutes, but these are pretty cheap and you know I'm able to do what I need to do with these. Um, from Fellwood, you wanna have your Knight's Dragon's Breath. You pop these on like trash whenever you're running low on mana. Free action potions, and then your Whipper Root Tubers is what you wanna use from Fellwood also. Just come in with a stack. You know, come in with a stack of Whipper Roots, come in with a stack of Knight Dragon's Breath. These are really good and consumables as you're farming your main consumable, which is gonna be your Demonic Runes. I come in with a stack of these. These are very critical for uptime on boss fights. So you wanna have your dark, your your runes, you, you can catch a slong power buff, things like that, um, while you're in Fellwood. You're gonna be farming Fellwood a lot. Um, so just get used to it. So that's the consumables guide, guys. You know, just make sure, and you know, you don't wanna half-ass it on your in-hand sham. Pop those things, and happy raiding. Talk to you guys soon.